Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. So today guys, we have another video. And it looks like the BBC is being biased again. But, it's going back to its old roots like it used to be during the Brexit time. Aye. So, we've got two things going on here. Uh, the second one we'll, I'll just mention now is a... Uh, Sir Keir Starmer, let me get his name right. So Keir Starmer, they actually made a political video like to contradict Boris Johnson's video that he did on Sunday. We'll get to that in a minute. But funny enough, the day after Boris Johnson announces the, you know, takedown of the restrictions, despite how fucking simple they were, they would just use your common sense, but may I guess I'll get to that video eventually. The BBC actually cuts him off. They like cuts the regular time of five, I think it's five o'clock. Yeah, five o'clock they do a session every day where they speak to the, like the get questions every day. They've been doing this for um, the seven, eight weeks we've been doing this for. But the BBC thought they would just cut it. And just ship their own fucking shit into it instead. They just decided, oh, oh well, feeling that Bruce and Lord Koonsberg is fucking better than listening to the Prime Minister or the government. Fucking cunts. Go and listen to this yourself. Go and watch it, I better. Go and watch it right now. Here you go. At the moment, because we cannot guarantee when we're going to find those solutions. Thanks very much. Um, can we go to Alex in the... Uh, thanks, Beth. Can we go to Alex in the... Right, in the we're going to leave that Downing Street briefing for now here on BBC One. The coverage is continuing on the BBC News channel. But let's have some reaction to what we've heard there from the Prime Minister and uh, from the experts. Our political editor, Laura Coonsberg, is at Westminster for us. So, Laura, lots of questions being asked, and we heard some of them from members of the public at the press conference there. So let's just try and be clear exactly what we can and cannot do. So when it comes... I'm not sure what they were trying to do there, but they literally just cut off the fucking government. But we know why, don't we? The BBC doesn't like Boris. The BBC doesn't like the Tories. They like Labour and all that. And yeah, by doing that, by... I don't know why the fuck we... any of us would actually want to listen to what the hell our journalist or the BBC journalist or Koonsberg wants to fucking say, or Fiona Bruce wants to say, when we've got the official government telling us what the fuck's going on. Because I think there's a lot of people that's confused right now, thanks to the BBC changing stories. Because I noticed that right immediately. Because, um, where was it? The... Sky News, when I saw Sky News doing it, like, I watched the Sky News one, you know, when it was going on, when Boz gave his thing on Sunday, and then he said, like, you got the members of your household. Members of your household? The Sky News says members of your family. How the fuck did you get that words differently? Household. Family. Household. Family. How the fuck do you get that different? But may I guess, I must be a bit fucking stupid, or maybe the BBC thinks we are a bit stupid, but I don't think so. This is from the Daily Express. BBC, B, BBC sparks outrage as it cuts short brief while MP outlining the vital coronavirus advice. The BBC has outraged Britons across the country as a broadcasting giant cut short the coronavirus briefing by the, as the Prime Minister issued the critical advice. Yeah, he was actually going to give out critical advice about the coronavirus and what he was specification on, and he was going to get the other two guys to speak as well. But Laura Koonsberg's more important. BBC's more important because they just don't want Boris to tell them exactly what they want them to hear. And if you're not one of that people that gets to the remote very quickly and find, oh, where is that other channel? There's your fucking problem. I mean, it's not like they're the only ones. The Welsh government did that exact same thing. And the 
Scottish one did the exact same thing by not telling people exact information, but Boris was going to tell them exact information. But how the fuck do you do that when the BBC just fucking cuts you off? Pricks. So, here's what he also said. Britons were left furious as the broadcaster of the day the coronavirus briefing was cut short on the BBC One. Outraged viewers took to Twitter, sorry, Twitter, to condemn the broadcasting giant, a furious viewer wrote, BBC One decided everyone watching down the street briefing needed to be switched to BBC News so they could broadcast their own hacks and comments. Yeah, that's fucking like, that is absolutely like, the BBC loves doing this all the time. Like, if you saw them during the Brexit negotiation thingies, they were over it, they were saying so much shit. So much shit. And remember, what did I tell you about the BBC? The study says this does... The people don't like the written press in the UK, don't they? Just to keep it the third. I'm going to keep saying this until it goes. Nobody likes your BBC anyway. But they have, they have absolutely right because the BBC would rather make their own hacky comments and say about whatever the fuck they want their political editors to say and then, you know, f f fuck what Boris has to say, fuck that. I mean, Boris is against us, we can't allow that. You're supposed to be impartial, are you not? Maybe not. Another added, this is why I switched from BBC News to Sky News years ago. Well, probably a better choice. I mean, I watch ITV, but it's still got its controversy, but okay. Why, ha why have the BBC cut the Downing Street briefing to give their own premier... Sorry, their own premature opinions about it? No thanks, that's not what I paid my license fee for. Yep, that's exactly it. That's why none of us wants to pay for that license fee. And this is probably the good explanation why. Because if this is what we're going to get, this biasness from the BBC, we never wanted this. We get in our fucking TV programs. You will get one character in a TV show from a drama saying, Oh, I'm a feminist! I'm a different color! Oh my god! Yeah, it's you don't introduce characters like that. And then you have the BBC, Scotland and England, probably Wales too, I don't know how that works. But they are so biased towards the fucking government, it's actually unreal. I they're biased towards Boris Johnson and that. Oh, me. But it's just, why the fuck do we pay this? You honestly do think that. One annoyed viewer questioned why the BBC felt the need to analyse the Prime Minister, Prime Minister before the briefing was over. I bet they will say it was technical issues I bet it was technical issues or something. He wrote, What the hell is going on, BBC? Halfway through the PM's briefing, Fiona Bruce inter interjects and speaking opinion by Laura Koonsberg. Why aren't the public being taught to interpret this the message? Another Twitter user agreed. It's issued the BBC should have continued the broadcast to hear the government's Experts on coronavirus, so I couldn't read that. It's a bit blurred on my screen. Yeah, you had every like to say that because it was just fucking stupid. Why the fuck would you do that? It's dumb. It is absolutely dumb. Fucking nuts. Um, the the twat leaded. Was the BBC doing? No, oh, no, I just said that. Sorry. Uh, yeah, and it's. And then he's, the rest of it's saying Boris Johnson's that face criticism, blah de blah de blah. Essential workers for Britons. But the thing is, you cut him off. You fucking cut him off. That's the thing. They were in the middle of their briefing thing, and you cut them off. You don't do that. You don't cut the government off. But it's alright. The BBC will learn eventually. Well, maybe with a financial pocket that 
that's probably why they don't like Boris, because remember, Boris is still trying to push ahead for the BBC license fee to be extinguished. Gone. That would be, save a lot of people money and time and worry. It would. And the BBC is trying to get down that. Dickheads they are. But, apart from that, they were being even more annoying. You know why? They were actually condemning with the enemy. Or they were condemning with the um, Labour Party. They were cross party in the Labour Party. And they sent out this tweet by the BBC News Press team. So they've hired someone to do this. They actually made their own political broadcast. That's what they did. It took me a minute to get that word out. They made their own biased political broadcast. And it says here, the BBC will broadcast a response to the leader of the opposition to last night's statement by the UK Prime Minister. Bloody, bloody, blah. So... Really? Really? You, you, you're going to do this? You know, we're not in a general election. What is your clever bloody idea about this? I mean, I wasn't quite sure how to come round this. It took me a long time to figure out what the hell that was. And they basically made their own political broadcast saying, it, oh, we will definitely judge the Tories for often they say, well, that would help if you actually allowed people to make their own fucking opinions up. But then the thing is, you've got the BBC on your side, lighting that. It's not even, you know, it wasn't even like the BBC official one. It was the BBC News team. Team! That's that's hiring somebody from a team effort to get them by our own taxpayers' money to pay for somebody else to get this little message out. So that message was made with taxpayers' money. What the fuck? Pretty much, what the fuck? I think I got that right, most of it. So, I think you should go and listen to the speech. I'm only going to show you a wee bit because I don't want to give him a lot of viewing. Here you go. That's why, when I was elected leader of the Labour Party, just over a month ago, I promised a new type of opposition. Labour will always put the national in Yeah. Didn't they want to show too much of that because I didn't want to give him too much credit because the last time I last video I did already gave him a bit too much credit, so thanks guys for watching. And we'll see you in the next one where I think we've got something a little bit more interesting in tent. So guys, thank you very much for watching this video to the very end. That means I'm excellent for this channel. I mean, if you want to support this channel even further, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe this video or the channel in any other sort of way. And if you want to support this channel even further than that, which would be appreciated anyway, please be sure to click any links below for alternative means where we can get more content out to you guys. And the number, hail the empire.